What is a research paper? A research paper is a scientific article published in a peer-reviewed journal after being subject to review and scrutiny by academics specialized in the same field of the research paper. It aims to publish a new scientific study on a specific point so that other scholars and interested people can see it. Who prepares research papers? 1. Scientists. 2. University professors. 3. Masters and doctoral students. 4. Anyone else interested in a specific scientific field who can write a publishable research paper. What are the differences between a research paper and a master's thesis or doctoral dissertation? 1. The number of pages of a research paper is less than that of a master's or doctoral thesis. Rarely we find a research paper more than 30 pages long. 2. The order of the elements of the research paper and the content of each element is different from that of a master's thesis or a doctoral dissertation. 3. The research paper must be published in a peer-reviewed journal, while the master's or doctoral research is approved by universities. Structure of a research paper. Most research papers consist of the following components. 1. Title. The title of the research paper should be simple and specific, it should be as short as possible, and express the content, so that the reader can get a good idea of the content of the research and its content from the title. If the title is not clear, this may cause a problem for the reader, as he is not encouraged to read the research, or thinks that it is not suitable for him, or that it is not the research he wants. A title that summarizes the results can be used. 2. Abstract. The abstract of the research paper is the second item that will be viewed after reading the title. The researcher should summarize all sections of the research paper in a very short text. The word count for this text is determined by each journal, usually between 100 to 250 words. Some consider the abstract to be the most important paragraph in the research, because it should provide a complete idea of the research. The significance of the abstract stems from the fact that any other researcher looking for a topic will have the abstract appear for him to read. Through the abstract, he will determine whether he will need your paper or not. It is in the interest of any researcher that others quote from his paper. 3. Introduction. The introduction to the research paper is the first main paragraph of the scientific paper. The introduction describes the research, and it should highlight the research question, explain the research problem, and its importance. After that, it reviews the historical background of the research, and previous research that studied this problem, and where it reached exactly. When the researcher knows where the others have reached, he can continue, and provide a real scientific addition, without repeating the discovery of what previous researchers discovered. 4. Methods and materials. In the methods and materials section, the researcher describes the methods, materials, tools and devices that he used in conducting his research and that enabled him to obtain the results. Here we must remember that the scientific paper as a whole is a summary of a scientific research that may extend for several years, and therefore, to elaborate on the details would be inappropriate. Methods should be reviewed briefly and concisely. But at the same time, every method, methodology, algorithm or material used must be clear. You should explain the steps of the experiment, the materials used, the specifications of each material, and the specifications of each device or tool you used. This explanation should suffice to allow any other average technician to repeat the experiment and get the same results. 5. Results. In the results section, the researcher displays the results that he obtained directly through his search. Here, illustrations and charts should be made use of, if possible, because they enrich the research and make it easier to understand and assimilate. The results of the research should answer his questions and achieve the objectives of the research. List the positive and negative results together, not just the positive. 6. Discussion. In the discussion of results section, the researcher interprets the results obtained. What do your results mean? What is its importance? Was it expected or not? How do you relate to it? Is it similar to the results of previous studies? In the interpretation of results section, also mention the limitations and weaknesses of your research. 7. Conclusion. In the conclusions and recommendations section, the researcher summarizes his research and refers to what he presented and convinces the reader of the importance of the research. The summary of the research should be limited to the problem and the results without repeating what was previously written in the results and discussion section. He presented a new, 
more in-depth look at the research problem and its results in brief sentences. After that, the researcher presents his suggestions and recommendations to other researchers in order to conduct future studies. 8. Acknowledgements. The researcher thanks everyone who helped him in completing his research. 9. Appendices. It can include pictures, graphs, graphics, charts, tables and figures. 10. References. In the references section, the researcher writes all the references that he benefited from or cited in his research. References should be arranged according to the journal's guidelines. 11. Table of contents. When the number of pages of a research paper is large, a table of contents is useful for easy access to each section. Attention. It is not necessary for every research paper to include all of the previous elements. Sometimes results and discussion of results are combined into one section. Sometimes the conclusion is combined with the discussion. Each journal determines the structure of the research papers that are accepted for publication, and the researcher must prepare his research in accordance with the requirements of the journal. To become a good researcher, don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to Research Academy channel.